as I was walking up, I saw this ahead of me. And I'm like, I'm just gonna walk up there. I'm just gonna like tap it like a diver would and turn back like this. Bink. And as I was watching, there was a guy with a dog and he walked up and kicked it. And I, and I had to stop him and say, golly day, I, I'm new here, first time. And that's what I had decided to do when I saw this wall. And he said, oh yeah, there's a kick here and on the other end, there's a place to do your hands. <laughs> Picking up the vibes, kindred spirit. That's what you're doing too. Meet kindred spirit, Memmi. And Albert. <laughs> Here she is. She whips that thing around. She knows what she doing. We're on the hunt to find the perfect place to stay tonight on an island that everybody else has the same idea. It's going to be great. sites if there's a place and if there's a place we're just going to stay we're going to stay for however long it is but it's going to be it's going to be five days or maybe even two weeks because we're doing this every two weeks for two weeks Ooh, hmm. i'm going to stop for just a second i'm going to stop and check it So did you see those two streets there? And I'm wondering if, I don't, I don't know if these recreational sites are um, marked. Did we go long enough to come to one? I think we've gone far enough. Okay, I, what I, I didn't know, did you see those two gravel roads in the back? that we just passed, one on the right and one on the left? Now on my right. Okay, I don't know if that's a recreational site. Normally it's it's marked, uh, but uh, I'm thinking the next one that I go up, that we pass, I'm gonna go up and just see what that is, okay? Yeah, I don't, and then because it's probably a, gonna, gonna be marked, but if we find a secluded site up here, that even better, right? All right, onward. Okay, so we just heard what we're gonna do. Let's see how it goes. Imogene's happy.
because look at our eastern exposure. There's a campsite to my left and right, and there's people there. Privacy. I'm not going to do the full pan, but I do want to maybe slip through here and show you where Kindred Spirit Amy is right there. She got into that spot like crazy good. And there was room up there for both of us, but uh, it was chilly up there. I need sunshine. I'm a sun goddess. That is their perfect spot. Off a long gravel road. <laughs> we did not, well, it was a sign off the highway. What? Sandy Beach. Oh, Sandy, Sandy, right, okay. <laughs> Sandy, there's a and Sandy what, Beach. And what, what, what was her husband's name? Oh. Uh, grounds. Sandy Grounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this is precious. This is precious. The camp host here, uh, her husband's last name is Grounds, and her name is Sandy. <laughs> so she refused to give up her last name, only partially because of Sandy Grounds. <laughs> Uh, more so, it's about um, the whole patriarchy of taking the husband's names, and she is the last, meaning she's a female. And uh, this is what we have to do. Is there's ways we can keep track of how people are related other than taking the traditional way. I think we ought to think about it. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, I think. <laughs>